All right, welcome everybody. I'm gonna do a lesson now on how to taxi. Now, learning the taxi is actually a little bit more difficult than learning to fly, and I think it's because these airplanes are meant to fly and they aren't meant to be in the ground. So students often have a lot more difficulty with learning to taxi than they do uh, learning to solo even. So I kind of have trouble with students on this, on, on some of these aspects. And so we're gonna be taxiing for a few minutes here, or at least a minute or so to the runway. I'll show you some of the things that you're supposed to check along the way. And then uh, you'll know also a little bit about runway incursions when we get to the whole short line at the runway, a very important thing, situational awareness at the airport that you are at, making sure that you are in fact um, staying safe staying vigilant all of those things so it's a little cold here i've taken some time i've warmed up the engine i've gotten my weather i've done my pre-taxi checklist and so we are all good to go we've got our taxi light on um, everything else is set up in the airplane so now what we need to do is we need to break away from our actual taxi spot just so happens that in our taxi spot we have some kind of dimples that our tires sit in so it takes a little bit of power to break away so I've got my feet on the pedals. I really don't have to add much pressure on the brakes right now. But what we're gonna do is add a little bit of power just to break forward. And then I'll immediately release that power. Now we can check the brakes just momentarily. You see that? Just nice and smooth, don't make it jerky. But just checking the brakes, okay? Always keep your head on a swivel in the taxi. I taxi with my feet, okay? Now there are differential brakes on the top of the pedals. And then we have nose wheel steering with our rudder, or rudder and nose wheel, on the bottoms of the pedal. So you can maybe see that my feet are down at the bottom now, and I'm not even steering with my hand, so a little bit different than a car, obviously. And then my power maintains my speed in the taxi. I need just a little bit of power to maintain my speed. Now I'm going to get off track here just to show you guys what you would need to do to get back on track, okay? So I'm coming back to the left here a little bit, obviously off the center line. I want you to do the best you can to stay on center line at all times, be nice and precise. And I'm just nudging that nose wheel, especially with a little bit of speed, it's very helpful to get back on that center line. And so here we are. Again, the, the line, the center line, isn't between your legs, it's actually in the middle of the airplane right here. Of course, it would be different if you're flying a tandem airplane. And as I come around the corner, I'm gonna add a little bit of right pressure on that uh, uh, pedal, that, that brake pedal on the side of the turn, okay? Otherwise, there's just not enough oom for that rudder and that nose wheel to bring us over. So let's see what that looks like up here in a left-hand turn. So I'm just gonna use the pedal, and you're gonna see that it's not enough. You see that? I'm all pedal. I need to add a little bit of brake. You see how I wasn't coming around? So that's taxing. Notice how I'm not doing anything else when I'm taxing, okay? I'm not heads down, I'm not doing a chest checklist. I'm staying very vigilant with other people around me and making sure that I'm not running into anything. I know what other people are doing just in case I need to give way. And I know where I'm going. So I see my runway here, I see where I'm gonna run up. I'm gonna come down just a little bit more to not impede people behind me if they wanna get out before me. So that keeps you situationally aware on where you are going. The reason why that is important is because we don't want to get what's called a runway incursion, okay? We don't want to pull onto a runway without stating our intentions or getting permission to do so at, say, a controlled airport. So here I am, I'm at Charlie, I'm holding short of runway four, and I'm gonna make a radio call now so people know where I'm at on the airport. Homer Radio and Homer Traffic, 2423 in a form, holding short, runway four at Charlie. And she's gonna come back and ask me if I have golf. I got Foxtrot, I haven't got golf. Homer Radio, Roger, no known traffic. Do you have information, golf? And I just got Foxtrot, I'll go ahead and get golf, 2423 in a form. All right, so that is the taxi. Now I'm here, now it's time for my run up. There are a couple other things that you check during your taxi for instrument flying, check the turn coordinator. So it's all about eyes outside, staying aware, defensive, driving, defensive, taxiing, and that's what the taxi is all about. 
takes quite a bit to get used to the pedals and how those work. Just remember that smooth, 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 and don't be activating those brake pedals with power. In other words, don't manage your speed with your brakes, manage your speed with your throttle power, okay? I also keep my throttle, I'll show you here, I keep my throttle um, pretty tight, and so I kind of grip it with my whole hand except for one finger, and then I use that one finger to prevent me from pushing it too hard. And so I can smoothly make transitions any direction. That's good for all types of flying, taxing, whatever it is. Make sure that all of the corrections you're doing with the throttle are always really smooth because it allows you to, uh, to, to react to what's going on rather than taking out a bunch of power and then things kind of spiral out of control. So that is how to taxi. We have some subsequent videos coming on uh, different types of takeoffs and landings. So go ahead and check those out on our YouTube channel. Please subscribe, like it, share it, comment. Uh, be part of the community. Would love to hear from you and and learn that you enjoyed this. And this is also for my students that are reviewing how to taxi. So lots of different aspects to this, but pretty uh, pretty simple at the end of the day. Just takes a little bit of practice. So now let's get on to some takeoffs and landings. Fly on over to aviatortraining.com for online ground school podcasts, videos and more to become or grow as an aviator.